Today I'm testing out the DJI microphone. I got the windscreen and magnet on. Let's see how sound picks up for us today. So I'm about 20 feet out right now. We'll be 30 feet out. Hopefully this can pick up well. Going even further out as you can see. I'm pretty far out, pretty close into the ocean here. I mean, I'm loving this mic so far. You can connect it to your iPhone, uh, your professional camera, anything your heart desires. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Shai, and today I'm super excited because I get to walk through some basic features and basic tutorials with you on the new DJI wireless microphone. So let's jump right in. Let's start off with the hardware. I honestly love this thing because it's super small and portable. Kind of reminds me of like a larger AirPods Pro. Now when you open it, you'll notice the light indicator. It'll indicate how charged the device is. And if we turn it on its back, it's ready with fast charging with USB-C. And now let's go inside and see what it actually comes with. So when we open it, it comes with two wireless microphones, one touchscreen receiver. The receiver comes with a little clip so you can connect it right onto your camera. And for your mobile devices, it does come with two adapters, one lightning, and one USB-C. So lightning for iPhones and USB-C for all sorts of other devices. Now another thing that it comes with is a nice little pouch with a few accessories. So let's see what's in here. That USB-C charger, an audio cable so that you can connect it straight to your receiver onto your camera. So you can record camera audio straight inside. Now you could also record it straight into the wireless mic, but we'll touch on that a little bit later. And it also comes with two windscreens. So if you're out vlogging and it's super windy, it'll really clean up that audio when you use these. Right when you open up the DJI charging case, everything will light up. It'll show you if the battery is charged and they say each wireless microphone can last up to five hours. And on the indicator here on the receiver, you'll also see that there's 15 hours worth of recording time on the memory drive. Let's take a closer look at the wireless mic and the receiver. Great thing about the receiver is you can point it towards you if you're behind the camera and you're directing, or perhaps you are the subject and director at the same time because you're a YouTuber like me, and you need to put it in front of the camera while you're recording. So that's also a great feature. On one side, there is a power button that you can power on and off. You could also charge it USB-C, independent of the charging case. And on the other side, there are two ports. One port is a headphone jack where you can connect your headphone so you can listen in and hear if your audio is nice and crisp. There is also an out port where you can connect the audio cable that DJI provided. And with that, you can connect to the camera and record directly into your camera. All right, so I'm gonna keep this tutorial really basic. Now, I just took the two wireless mics out of the charging case. And if you see from the two green lights and the green lights on the touch screen, it automatically syncs up, which is awesome and easy to use. Now you can see your levels, make sure it doesn't go too far to the right where it hits orange or if it hits red. Now you can see the two microphones are being picked up. You could also see that it picks up mic one and it picks up mic two. Now if we turn off one of these microphones, you'll notice that now it only picks up mic two. Now we're gonna jump a little deeper and see some navigation on the touch screen. Now let's walk through the touch screen receiver. Now that M signifies whether you're recording in mono and you can adjust it to stereo and we'll show you that in just a second. The plus sign is the decibel level and the gain. The two there and the bars signifies the signal of the wireless mic and the receiver connecting together. And you can see the battery life for the actual microphone and the receiver. And if we swipe up, there's a great way that you can hit the backup recording feature. And if you see from the red light here, it is 
now recording straight into the microphone here. And if you're using the wire, it's also recording into the camera. Now you can mute and also signifying by a blinking red light that the microphone is on mute. And you can see how many hours are left on that backup recording memory card on the wireless microphone. Now if you swipe down, you can control if you're recording in mono. Maybe you want it in safety or stereo. I leave it in mono because I record a lot of talking head. You can control the receiver gain and you can bump the decibel level up or lower. You can control the volume of your headset and you can increase the decibel level or lower it. And you can access your settings through here. So on the actual wireless microphone, you'll notice on one side that there is a power button. You can also use that to mute by double pressing on it. There's a USB-C charger. And on the other side, there's a record button. And there's also this chain link is the sync button in case it ever unsyncs. And at the very top, you'll see the microphone. And there's also a port to put in a lavalier mic if you like. And then on the back, a really nice feature is that it has a magnet in addition to the clip where you can take the magnet off, place it inside, and now it just nicely hangs on there. You could actually use the wireless mic independently. When you see it lit up green, that means it is sunk up. And if this was connected to your camera with the cable I just showed you, it'll record audio as I'm speaking. Now, if you don't want to use the receiver, you can actually use this independently. It has a backup recorder. Now, all you do is click the record button on the left and it vibrates and it lights up red. And now I can record up to 15 hours on each one of these wireless microphones. Now on this microphone, there's also a windscreen and it's real easy to put this on. It's almost like putting on a lens on a camera. You got to just find the nice little groove above the actual microphone. And that's it. Again, if it's super windy outside, you can put this on and it'll clear out all that wind and muffling. Thanks for joining me today. I honestly enjoyed walking through new features on the DJI wireless microphone. Keep in mind this video is not sponsored. I purchased these things on my own, but I love doing these reviews because hopefully it can help you make your decision on getting your next microphone. If you do decide to get it, there's an affiliate link below. It does help out the channel, so thank you for that. And remember, stay creative at work and in your passion projects. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.